Well, well, well. Here it is, Christmas, and not a drop of Santa Claus in sight. I've been a figuring on a big Christmas this time, but short crops and low priced cotton has got us all down and out. But ye can't never tell just what will happen. Hello, Hello Uncle Bud. Bud. How's Christmas? Oh, dull as I ever seen. And I guess I've seen a thousand. Haven't you got nary little drink for Christmas? Lord, no, boys, and no hopes of nary. We just dropped in to give you a little drink and invite you over to a candy pulling over John Henderson's tonight. Hush your mouth. Yes, I intended to go over to John's tonight. Say, you've got a little drink. Sure, Uncle Bud, have one. Why, to be sure, boy. <clears throat> boy, that's good. By the way, where did you run across that stuff? That kind of stuff's scarce around these diggings. Say, that made me think of it. A couple of boys invited me over to their shack the other day, said they had some of this here homebrew stuff. And when I got there, they set out several bottles, said, Now, Uncle, help yourself. Here's salt and the opener and everything. And when I pulled off the cap off of one of them bottles, that darn stuff spewed up, spewed out all over me, down my neck and in my eyes and up my nose, and all over my Sunday go to meet and clothes. I asked the boys what was the matter with the darn stuff. They said, oh, it's all right, just bottled a little too young. I said it was a darn good thing you didn't let it get grown. It would have caused another Mississippi flood. You know I had to sit out in the sunshine two solid hours and dry my clothes before I could go home. And when I got home, my wife says, Bud, have you been in a rotten tomato battle? So I know I just come by cooled off some syrup mill and fell in the dang skimming hole. Have another little drink, Uncle Bud, and get out on the old fiddle and let's all play that old tune called Give the Fiddler a Dram. Why, yes, let's all have one. Let's give Clyde Evans a little sup of that. I don't know about Phil, I don't know whether he'll drink any or not, but you know how me and you cut up when we get a little taste of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Man, that's something else, ain't it? Now let's all go. Mm -hmm. 